um, you know, one of the big things was, hey, you know, how do we do this? How do we keep everybody happy? And how do we do this in a way that, you know, doesn't have people quitting on us, things like that, right? And those are the things, things that we hear, you know, we're meeting with all clients every single day. There's a perception that, you know, if we make a change like this because there's an asset on the road and something somebody's been getting for a long time, that, you know, there's going to be a reaction to that. What I always tell companies is make sure when you make a change, you don't make it on the backs of the employees, right? So if you deliver the right amount of dollars through a reimbursement program, removing the fleet, you know, knowing that people want employee flexibility and stuff like that and drive the car of their choice, if you give the right amount of dollars, you can actually make that a really seamless and easy transition. Um, some things that Flint Group was seeing, high maintenance costs, industry-wide focus on compliant. Some of their competitors as well had already been, you know, transitioned out of fleet cars. So they were interested in figuring out how they did that. Um, imprecise business mileage and reporting, right? When you talk about the compliance aspect of that fringe benefit or personal use, um, you know, they had had some conversations with um, you know, people internally and they knew they were exposed in that regard from a compliance standpoint. So another thing that we, you know, consulted them on and talked to them about, you know, as they were considering a transition. Um, the result based on how they tailored and built the program with MODIS was a seven figure cost savings in less than a year. Ease of use with capturing miles and also making sure that it was compliant. Time savings from less administrative work so all the team that was managing this on a daily basis didn't need to do that anymore. And they reallocated some of those resources that they had internally to create, you know, better efficiencies and drive better revenue within the company. And then a streamlined implementation process, right? Um, one of the conversations I had with them afterwards is, hey, you know, all those things that we were thinking, those were things that, you know, we were concerned about and their real thoughts and their natural thoughts, but through communication, and through building the right program based on what people want, it really minimizes that trend, that change management. Again, I always say 30% want it, 30% don't care, and 30% are going to have a reaction to it. So if you can really manage that 30% with communication and building the right program, a lot of those change management issues go away. And uh, you know, during a, a, an implementation process, it's super important to put all those pieces together before you communicate out to the field to make sure that all those questions, concerns, reactions are managed um, in that moment when you do communicate.